Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Dave Martini. I'm the president of the National Society of Professional Engineers, and I'd like to welcome you to the National Society of Professional Engineers 41st Federal Engineer of the Year Award Ceremony. It is a privilege and an honor to be part of this prestigious ceremony. And as I'm sure the people in this room can appreciate, the work that we do as PEs is too important to fix after the fact. With that mind, in mind, the requirements to obtain professional licensure are rigorous for a reason. The mission of the National Society of Professional Engineers is grounded on a pr simple premise that we all deserve to live in a world where the public can be confident that the engineering decisions affecting their lives are made by qualified and ethically accountable professionals. For 86 years, NSP has worked to realize this vision by advancing the role of licensed professional engineers and the qualified engineering team and services to society. Too often, your contributions to public good go unrecognized. Ours is a profession that tends to get noticed only when something goes wrong. Now, in its 41st year, NSP's Federal Engineer of the Year Award is one of the ways we try to correct that by celebrating your considerable contributions and success in engineering. Each of you are living examples of the values we hold as a profession and as the National Society of Professional Engineers. Those values are holding the public health, safety, and welfare above all considerations, a commitment to innovation to ensure the changing and future needs of the public are met, holding ourselves and our peers to the highest professional standards and qualifications across the engineering team, dedication to continuous learning for professional growth, and the exchange and advancement of knowledge in matters of concern to the profession and its relation to the outside world, valuing teamwork, unity and fellowship across all disciplines and all levels of the engineering team, and advancing diversity, equity, and inclusion, ensuring the profession is a reflection of society. From your biographies, I can see that each of you being honored today share these values and are dedicated to making this world a better and a healthier and safer place for all mankind. Let me share with you what is written on the plaques we are presenting today. The National Society of Professional Engineers, Professional Engineers in Government honors you as your agency's 2020 Federal Engineer of the Year. The plaques may be small in size, but they re represent a great deal of respect and appreciation for your significant accomplishments and your, for your adherence to the code by which all engineers should be guided. Good afternoon. This is uh, one of the great pleasures of my service as executive director of, of NSPE. Over the last four decades, as Dave has mentioned, uh, the program has honored hundreds of truly accomplished engineers. To be recognized as this program does by your peers is indeed very high honor, since you are being selected and singled out for recognition by people who are also engineers and strive for perfection. But as David previously mentioned, NSPE sponsors this Federal Engineer of the Year Award program in order, because we believe that you and your contributions deserve wider recognition, and that national recognition is what we strive to do. As Dave mentioned, NSPE's reason for being is to ensure that the uh, ensure the professional competence and ethical accountability of those who make deci decisions vital to the public's welfare. And it's worth reminding ourselves of the very high bar we set for ourselves as qualifications for professional practice across the entire engineering team. These standards are rigorous, but licensure and certification are rigorous for a reason. The public depends on it. It is my pleasure to congratulate you on behalf of NSPE and the professional engineers in government. We are proud of you and of your accomplishments as, en as engineers. Uh, but I also have to say, having looked at, at through the applications that were considered by the awards committee, uh, I was particularly impressed that above and beyond all the professional accomplishments you have, how many of the winners that we recognize today contribute so generously and consistently to community uh, programs outside of their professional lives. And I acknowledge and appreciate you for that. 
Now we will present to the 10 engineers among the agency winners who were chosen by our judging panel as NSBE's top 10 Federal Engineers of the Year and from whom the Engineer of the Year will be selected. Thank you, Mark. And congratulations again to, to everyone that was recognized here today. On behalf of the National Society of Professional Engineers, it gives me great pleasure to announce the 2020 Federal Engineer of the Year. Will you please join me on stage, Timothy Sullivan, PhD, PE, U.S. Department of the Air Force, Air Force Civil Engineer Center. <laughs> Dr. Sullivan's technical services background spans nuclear, mechanical, environmental, and civil engineering. Among his sign signature accomplishments, he developed the first ever comprehensive execution guidebook to support $604 million in nationwide construction. As part of that three-year project, he crafted a project risk management process to identify vulnerabilities in construction projects greater than $5 million. He also implemented changes to the National Defense Building Code to protect facilities from storm surge. While overseeing a $300 million environmental engineering budget, Sullivan developed metrics and visualizations to model and predict environmental stability of installations. Also of note, his early engineering milestones addressed a methodology for sampling mothballed facilities for nuclear contamination and designing breathing air systems and containments. And on top of all that, he makes time to mentor young engineers in their research efforts regarding aquifer protection, water quality assessment, and water source vulnerability. Engineer Sullivan, for your outstanding engineering achievements and contributions to the engineering profession and to humankind, I am privileged to present you with the 2020 Federal Engineer of the Year Founders Medallion. So I was talking to my wife this morning and she said, have you thought about what you would say if you won? And I said, well, why would I want to do that? So, and here we are. Um, but I would like to thank NSPE for bestowing this award on me. And of course, thank my beautiful, amazing wife, Vicki, who was unfortunately unable to be here today. And Ms. Balkus for taking time out of her schedule to come support the Air Force winners. And I would also like to just um, do a real quick anecdote. Um, I, I actually worked on my PhD while working full time, which was a little crazy. And in the course of doing that, I had to reach out to scientists and engineers throughout the world for various things when I hit roadblocks to research they'd done, data, software they'd worked on to get help. And universally, they were willing to help me, someone they'd never met, never heard of, didn't know. And it was very heartening to me that cohesiveness of the the uh, worldwide engineering and scientific community. And I think it just goes to show, you know, when we all work together, put our heads together and help each other out, we can do wonderful and amazing things. So it was just a very heartening experience and I just wanted to share that and thank you again.